Oh look, Bad Jeffy is one of those Jeffy videos, where Jeffy gets away with everything and learns literally nothing. The first third of this video was kind of filler heavy. I'll admit, I did like stuff such as the prison scene, since it was actually an interesting and unique location. The rest of the video though, I mean it was okay enough. Probably a 5.5 out of 10, since it had some unique aspects, such as Brooklyn guy having to think through a technicality, kinda but this video wasn't very good either. So, Joseph the Millionaire score is going to revolve around how it is as a standalone video, but what it does to Joseph's story arc, which is one of the few overarching storylines SML has anymore, should be mentioned as well, and I'll get to that in a minute. So, as a standalone video, I actually don't mind this video too much. Joseph's real house is actually pretty cool, and it's such a unique location, even if we'll probably only ever get to see it once. Don't get me wrong, I prefer the creepy atmosphere of Joseph's original house, but this is still interesting. With that being said, this feels much more like a Joseph becomes rich sort of video, rather than Joseph already being rich. How can I tell? Because such is the pattern in nearly every single SML video that whenever someone becomes rich quickly, there's a high likelihood that they turn into a total jerk. So yeah, Joseph was annoying to watch here. I did like pretty much all the scenes with Chives, which is actually really good considering he's a standalone Lance character, and the ending with him was actually really great to see. So, actually as a standalone video, I kinda like this one. It had plenty of funny moments, mainly carried by Chives, but Joseph kinda dragged this video down a bit. But, you know what? 6.8 out of 10. Not bad at all. But now we've talked about this video as a standalone thing. What about as a key portion of Joseph's arc on the channel? Well... It sucks, monkey butt! Seriously, this video causes Joseph's arc to basically crash and burn. Instead of having this sense of sympathy for Joseph because of his mom abandoning him, he instead just gets what he wants and calls his mom from time to time demanding more money. At least since Joseph met his mom again, the whole thing of him being poor seems to have been a facade. I didn't even care for the plotline because... Well, honestly, I thought the ambiguous nature of how his mom died was a bit cooler, but hey, that's just me. But this proves that Joseph is nothing more than just a spoiled jerk. I already hate videos where Joseph is like that to begin with, but the fact it turns out he's like this pretty much all the time makes this video leave a sour taste. Jeffy's speeding ticket was actually fairly creative. Jeffy continually gets pulled over for speeding, or in one case going too slow, and honestly these ticket scenes are good. Maybe it helps that they're outside. As for the rest of the video, it's decent? They go and rob Jimmy John- oh wait, sorry, I mean footlong bangers, to get the money needed to pay off all Jeffy's tickets. We get some really funny scenes from Brooklyn Guy, and then Brooklyn Guy just kinda... lets Jeffy off with a warning. Okay... Honestly though, 7 out of 10. I liked the areas they filmed in since I thought it was interesting and different. I do think the plot was a bit weak, but overall, actually pretty decent. Alright, Cody meets Harry, the true battle of wits, the ultimate showdown of the two resident SML nerds. Let's see how this goes, and... A few moments later... That's it? Okay, I'm only somewhat joking. However, the actual competition was somewhat underwhelming. I thought what we'd have was an interesting montage of Cody and Harry making amazing inventions, only for something to backfire with each one. But instead we got Harry instantly making the cure for cancer, and Cody having a discussion with his dad where his dad says cheating is okay. You get it? I did like the ending to be fair, especially since Jackie Chu admitted Cody was the smartest because he managed to outsmart Harry, and that was one of the last videos Harry was ever in. This video is another 6.8 out of 10, since while it wasn't perfect and definitely could have used some improvement, it had some good ideas in there, and a good ending. Also, it's good to see Cody back. So every video this batch review has been pretty decent so far. So how's Hurricane Jeffy? 
Well... Okay, it was just stupid. We had two plots going on at the same time, presumably as an attempt to have the one distract from how bad the other is. We have the plot where Jeffy decides he wants to be a hurricane, so he runs around throwing stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much the extent of that plot. Then we have Junior thinking Hurricane Sally is an actual girl, which isn't helped by the fact that an actual girl named Sally shows up. That plot was slightly better, Slightly. For the most part though, this video was pretty bad. 3 out of 10. We got a couple funny jokes, but that's about it. Well, Batch Reviews Episode 23 had some decent videos in here, save for the last one. Thank you all for watching, and take care. Thank <laughs> you.